Happy Halloween guys and welcome back to Screen Feed. Our next Halloween instalment is The Evil Dead. Before I get into this review guys, if you already haven't, please like and subscribe to the channel. I'm also on Twitter and TikTok, so if you're on any of those platforms, please hook me up. So what can I say about The Evil Dead? The original Evil Dead. I mean, I think it's just brilliant. I wouldn't be reviewing it if I didn't think it was any good. Um, obviously now watching it, it's just so dated, like the effects, uh, green screen, all the props, everything like that. But it's just so good to watch. I mean, it's just, it's just gritty. You know, I just love that, like the, the fake blood, <laughs> the cheesy acting, all the, the makeup, the props. I just think it's such a good movie. San Raimi, I just think he's such a good director. And Bruce Campbell, I think he's just amazing. I mean, in the first one, you don't really get the comedy aspect of it, but later on you do, because he's such a funny character. But I think for the first one, it just really set the bar, you know, I mean, nobody ever really saw anything like it. It was kind of, it was cheesy. It was just really well thought out. And I just enjoyed it for what it was. It was just a very, very weird guilty pleasure for me. And I just love it. It's just my type of horror movie. I mean, looking at the cover, I mean, big, bold, evil dead letters, graveyards, skeletons, ghosts, ghouls, everything I love in a film, especially when it's this kind of movie when it's like, what year was it? 1981, this was even before I was born, but I love it. Um, I think the first time I watched it, I was watching it with my parents. And even my parents told told me to turn it off because it just seemed horrendous. Um, but I loved it. I mean, I, I really loved the second one. The first one was just absolutely mind blowing, but the third one was just like another level, you know, the comedy, um, again, it was just really cheesy. The dialogue, Bruce Campbell, he was just such a funny character and he just made it fun. Groovy. It's just a cheesy kind of good fun, which I just really enjoyed. It just seems like such a simple movie to make. You can really tell they had such a lot of fun with this. Like all of it's just filmed in this cabin in the woods and there's just so much that, that they were able to do with it, like with all the blood, the fact that there was only a handful of actors, all the makeup, all the props, and just all these like slow motion camera movements, and especially the camera movements, the, the movements were just so interesting. And from a director's point of view, there was just such, it was just well thought out and I just loved it. Some of the scenes I really do enjoy uh, was when you kind of see the zombies kind of attacking like uh, Bruce Campbell and some of the others and they're just cackling and the makeup and I just think it's so cool to see like some of the jump scares as well you kind of see in the, the the fight scenes where they're struggling and just kind of like the decapitation scenes and dismemberments and just all the props and the blood and everything I just I just love it I just think it's really cool the scene where Bruce Campbell is just kind of hitting her with this huge wooden bollard thing and she's just laughing in his derricks and I just think it's hilarious. <laughs> Even the bit where he's just slapping her and all she's doing is just laughing and you can just see him getting frustrated but it's the sound effects that just make it funny. I just really enjoy it. I just, I just watching it now, it's just hilarious. And it's just one of those films I just love to invite friends over, just have a couple of beers and have a laugh. And it's just funny. Like when I was growing up watching this, it was scary, but just kind of growing up with it now, I'm just like, it's just hilarious. And I just enjoy it for what it is. Even watching the remake from 2013, you know, it just wasn't needed. You know, I mean, it was kind of typical it was gonna happen because the evil that it was always on around Halloween time, everybody had seen it, everybody loved it. But honestly, they just really didn't need to do it, you know? And I always, like like everybody kind of knows, you know, they only do these things because it's it's just money grabbing, you know? Because they think, oh, well, the original's kind of coming back into where everyone likes zombies and it's, it's probably just the right thing to do to make a remake. Wrong, but no, they should not tamper with anything like that. They should never tamper with a classic. They should leave the franchise alone, well enough alone. It's like The Nightmare on Elm Street. They just did not need to make a remake. 
you know, do not tamper with the classic. You know, everybody just loves Freddy Krueger from the original movies. Do not bring in a new character to play the same thing. You know, it's exactly the same. The original is just perfection and it doesn't need to be tampered with. It's something new because the movie was just exactly the same. It's just more up to date with the effects, the CGI, the blood, whatever, and just terrible acting in general. In my honest opinion, I'd probably give this film a 10 out of 10. Um, definitely not the remake, let's put it that way. I'll probably review that another time, just not now. There's a time and place for everything. Um, but like I say, you're never going to get films like this. You know, these are classics. These are always ones that you can always go back to, revisit and have a good laugh with. And it's very hard to get that nowadays. You know, 80s horror is probably the best type of horror. You know, there's so many movies back in the 80s, you know, that I can, I could probably list to you right now because there's a lot of them which are just so awesome. And they're just so, they're just so authentic. You know, you've got Candyman, you've got... The Evil Dead, you've got Misery, you've got all these other great films as well, like I'm I'm sure you know yourself, you know, you'll never get films like that ever again. I mean, what is it with all these remakes? I mean, it's almost like they just have no ideas, you know, I mean, this is why we need new talent. Maybe not, because to be fair with you, a lot of originality has come from a lot of these classics, which again, that's where your research comes in. This is what people know, it's just it's just a shame there are no new ideas anymore. Everything has to be taken from something. Here's a fun fact for you. Apparently the car that they were driving to the cabin, that's actually Uncle Ben's from Spider-Man. That's the same car in the same movie. And Bruce Campbell is also in Spider-Man, but I'm sure you knew that. Even Stephen King said this was the most ferociously original horror film of the year. And that's saying something. That's on the back of the box. We're never going to get movies like this, you know? I mean, the remakes are just terrible. You know, I don't think there is a decent enough remake nowadays that's actually been produced. Um, I think there was one that I actually did enjoy. I can't really think of it from the top of my head. Just kind of goes to show it's not sticking out in my mind, but if, if you think there's a good remake out there, please let me know. Uh, but yeah, 10 out of 10. I think it's definitely worthy of a 10. I do enjoy it. It's such a good laugh. Ah, I'll tell you what was a good remake, The Star Is Born. It's not exactly a horror, but I actually loved that movie. If not, probably better than the original, but like I said, I didn't really watch the original. I actually watched the Bradley Cooper Lady Gaga version first, as most people did. And then I watched the original and it was just way, way too long. But Barbara Streisand, I mean, you can't go wrong. I mean, I didn't really grow up with her, but brilliant actress. But honestly, A Star Is Born was just perfection. I think I watched that movie like three times at the cinema. Loved it. But again, like I say, it's not horror, so it doesn't really count. Not in this situation anyway. So anyway, guys, have you watched it? If you have, I'd love to hear your comments about it. If you haven't, um, probably watch it with the lights on. Um, I don't think people would probably enjoy it as much as, as we did watching it growing up, but uh, it's definitely a good watch. You'll probably laugh, or you'll probably be hiding behind your couch or whatever, uh, but I would definitely recommend it. It's really good. Uh, like I said before, if you already haven't, please follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Uh, if you're on any of those platforms, please send me a comment. I'd really appreciate that, and have a great Halloween, guys. Cheers, bye.